this down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to press and hold the middle mouse button. I'm just going to press A once or twice and press S to scale Y for the Y axis and just drag this in. Left click when I'm happy, lock that in position. Just going to drag this back forward again. I'm going to press 1. Okay. Just maybe drag it off center. Okay. Left click or release just to knock that there. Okay, I'm just going to press Shift S cursor to select it. And I'm going to press Tab and go to Object Mode. I'm just going to press T and under Tools, I'm going to left click Set Origin and just Set Origin to 3D Cursor. Okay, now I'm just going to press Tab, go back into Edit Mode. I'm going to press Shift D and X. So make a copy and just drag it along in the X axis and just left click when I'm happy to lock that in position. I'm just going to press S and scale this down a little bit. I'm just going to drag it up and drag it back closer to the, that piece here. Okay. Might just hover the mouse and press L and just maybe just drag these up a little bit so there's less of a gap between them. I'm just going to press 1. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm just going to press L to select this and just maybe drag it in. Okay. I'm just going to press Z and wireframe. I'm going to press and hold Alt. Okay, that's not working. I'm just going to press Control Tab and left select vertices. Okay, I'm just going to press B for box select and just drag a selection around all of these and maybe just drag this down, down a little bit. Press A to deselect, press B and press and hold the left mouse button, drag a selection across and release. Just drag this down. Okay, I'm just going to press Z and left select solid. I'm going to press A, I'm going to press L now when I'm hovering over this piece and create one more copy create a similar toot as we're going back actually first i might just press r to rotate z for the z axis and just rotate that slightly and just drag this back okay okay now i'm going to press shift d and press x and just drag that across in the x i'm going to press s to scale z for the z axis and just drag this down Okay, and I might just drag this back into Y a little bit and press R to rotate Z for the Z axis and just rotate slightly. Just grab this and drag it back. Okay, I'm just going to press 1 to get a height. It's probably a little bit too long. Okay, and I might just press Z and left select wireframe just going to press a to deselect i'm going to press and hold control and press and hold the right mouse button and just lasso select this section here i'm going to press z and left select solid i'm just going to press s and maybe scale this in a little bit left click to lock that in position okay now i'm just going to hover the mouse and press l and i want to drag this back in the y axis he's a little bit too far forward Okay, I'll be happy with that. I'm just going to press 1 for front view. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm just going to right click, place the cursor out here. I'm going to press Shift A and I want to add a cube. And I'm going to press S and scale that down. Press S and scale it down again. Okay. Press S and just scale it down a little bit more. I'm going to press Control R, put a loop cut in, square this up a little bit. Okay, Control R, put a loop cut here and drag this down a little bit. Okay, Control R, put one in the center here. And Control R, put one in the opposite direction. Okay, now I'm just going to select these 
exterior points and maybe drag this down a little bit I'm just gonna press and hold shift and left select these pieces and maybe just drag these up a little bit okay I'm just gonna hover the mouse and press L I'm gonna press 1 and press S to scale and just scale it down and I'm gonna drag it across try and get a position for it let's drag this back into Y okay and I might just press S R to rotate and Z for the Z axis and just drag this a little bit down and rotate okay I'm just gonna grab this and drag it up into the gum and drag it back in the Y a little bit okay that wouldn't be too bad just drag it over in the X close to the other one okay I might just make a copy of this and drag it back so shift D I'm gonna press X first and drag it across and then just drag it back into Y press and hold the middle mouse button and just get a get an idea of where I want this I'm gonna press R to rotate Z for the Z axis and just drag this and rotate and again just drag it into Y and drag it back okay just press A to deselect I'm just going to reselect this one and press R to rotate Z for the Z axis and drag this back into Y a little bit okay that wouldn't be too bad just gonna select both of these by pressing L while I'm hovering and just drag them up okay like this I'm gonna press 1 and with those two selected I'm just gonna press L and select these pieces I'm gonna press the full stop and left select 3d cursor I want to make a copy and mirror them across okay I'm gonna press shift s and select left select cursor to center and I'm going to press shift D to make a duplicate and just right click to snap them back to their location I'm going to press control M for mirror and I'm going to press X for the X axis and enter okay I'm just going to press the full stop again and bring back medium point and I just need to drag these over slightly okay and if you want to make any modifications you could do that but I think I might just press Z left select wireframe press A press and hold control and the right mouse button and just maybe resize this slightly press A do the same thing here press and hold control and the right mouse button and just drag a lasso selection and just okay press Z and go back to solid okay I'm gonna press A once or twice to select them all I'm going to press T and I'm going to come up here to shading UVs and left click recalculate okay that just flips the normals press T now just to hide that panel okay I'm just going to right click and put the cursor in that location just going to press and hold the mouse button press 3 and maybe press Z wireframe and just gonna right click place the cursor here press 1 okay press Z now go back to solid okay I want to make a copy and just flip these mirror these on the Z axis okay so again I need to press the full stop and left select 3d cursor that's gonna be the pivot point I'm gonna press shift D to make a copy and just right click to snap them back to their location I'm gonna press control M and I'm gonna press Z for the Z axis and enter I'm just gonna press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate I'm just gonna drag these up slightly maybe drag these back okay I might just press S and scale these in left click to lock that in position okay I'm just gonna press 1 I'm just gonna press A to deselect I'm gonna press L when I'm hovering over this piece and maybe press 
S to scale, Z for the Z axis, and actually I'm just going to right click to cancel that. I'm just going to press the full stop and bring back the medium point. And now I can scale, press S to scale, Z for the Z axis, okay, and S to scale, X for the X axis, and just drag this in, okay, press A. Okay, that wouldn't be too bad looking. I might just I can reduce these maybe later, but for the moment I'm just going to select all of these. Maybe just drag them down a little bit. Okay. Press 1. Again, I'm going to press T and under shading UVs, I'm just going to press recalculate. Okay, I'm going to press T again. And I think that's going to be it for this tutorial. I'm going to press Control S and just save this. And that'll do. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. This is where we left off the last time. And I'm just going to press T to bring up this property panel. I'm going to press tab and left select object mode and now with the teeth selected I'm going to come over here to shading under tools and left click smooth okay I'm just going to press T and minimize that toolbar okay I'm going to select the mouthpiece I'm actually going to press alt H and bring back our model okay and just roll the mouse wheel to zoom out Just gonna press and hold the middle mouse button, okay, and they look fine. Okay, Let's press one for front view. What I want to do is add hair to the mesh or to the character. So I'm gonna left select the character, press tab, and enter edit mode. I might just say before I continue, I'm going to leave the teeth as separate as a separate object for the time being seen just because of the mirror modifier we still have on the mesh so for the moment I'm just going to leave it as a separate object and actually what I can do is press tab and come back into object mode I'm going to left select the mouthpiece and I'm going to press and hold shift and left select our character Gonna press Control J and just join those back together, okay. And with that done, I can just press Tab and re-enter Edit Mode to add this hair. So, so that just leaves the teeth as separate ob separate objects for the moment, okay. So I'm just gonna press A to deselect everything. I'm going to press shift s and left select cursor to center okay and that just pops the cursor into the center of the grid now i want to add a cube so i'm just going to press shift a and left select cube and i'm just going to press s and scale this down okay and i'm just going to roll the mouse wheel here in side view and just drag this to the back i'm just going to drag drag it up to just the base of his head okay and I'm just gonna roll the mouse wheel to zoom in I'm gonna press S and scale this down to about here just gonna drag this in to the base of his head again press and hold shift and the middle mouse button just to pan down okay it's important that you're in right orthographic for one of the views anyway so just press 3 on the number pad, press 5 to toggle between perspective and orthographic. Okay, I'm just going to grab this and drag it up and place it, place it, I'm just going to place it about here for the moment. Okay, I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button for a minute. I want to scale this in in the X a little bit, so I'm going to press S to scale X for the X axis and just scale that in. Okay, and now I'm going to press 3 again. And I'm going to press Control, Tab, and left select Face. 
I'm just going.